I'm back for part two of the dragon, and here's his head. What you should have made in the last part of the video was his two wings, the head, and the neck, and then the four legs. And now we're going to put it all together in his body and his tail. So, let's do that. <coughs> Alright, we're going to start with his tail at the top of the loom. And, um... We're going to go down the middle one six times with two bands. So I'm using a purple and a blue each time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I'm trying to film a YouTube video, Gino. Um, and then, alright, we have to start working on the body. So... We're going to go up there, and up there, and then we're going to go down, let's see, one, two, three times, we're going to go down on each side. No. <coughs> to bring it into the wool, into the center. And we're going to fill in the center of the row. We have to attach on the legs when we're looping. One, two, three, in, in. and then the wings we're going to put on right now after we fix something. So get the wings out and we're going to take these two bands off and then we're going to do a little bit of fixing this. Alright, one and two. So we're going to take those off, and then we're going to put the wings on facing, like, this. So the stripes are facing up. If I can fix the wing. So we're going to place two bands from the wings there, and then we're going to replace those two bands that we just took off. And we're going to place the other two. Um, what did I do? Place the other two loops. I'm sorry, hang on, let me fix this. Uh -huh. I'm gonna bump the camera. Alright, I think I have it. Good enough, anyway. Alright, and then we're going to take off the other two bands. And we're gonna place it stripe up. And we're going to wrap the two bands around this peg, place the other two back on, and then wrap these two Ooh! around this peg. And we're going to put two bands there, two bands in, and two bands in. And then, yeah, so the arms we're going to place on when we're looping. And we're going to place on some horizontal bands now. So I'm placing single purple bands as triangles. So three triangles. You can do double bands if you want. I'm just going to do single bands because they seem to work fine. And then we're going to take our neck, our head and our neck, and we're going to place it on upside down. So so your his eyes and horns are facing down. And we're going to wrap these six loops around this peg. So his head's upside down, and his horns are facing down. So that way, that way, <laughs> towards my desk. Alright, let's start looping this craziness, and I need to find my legs. All right. So get your legs ready. We do not want to forget about those. We need to start looping. 
So we're going to loop under that head. Might have to pull it back some. And you're going to grab the top two bands, pull them there. Top two band, or sorry, loom out of camera focus. Then these two bands. There. These two bands forward. All right. We can loop up to here. And then stop. Like that. <coughs> All right. We need to place the legs. We need to take two of the legs. And we're going to place one of them here. And another one on the other side. So here. Come on. And then we're going to loop down. Grab the bottom two. So that wing, we have that wing there too. So this might be a little bit tricky. Loop them forward. Do the same on this side. Loop them forward like that. And snap your band in the process. All right, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> and then I need one, two, hang on, I need to count. All right, we are going to place our back two legs onto this peg and this peg, and we're gonna leave them like that for now. And we're going to loop up the rest of our bands and we're gonna loop in we're gonna loop up the rest of our bands and dig down and find them no oh, don't lose your band <sighs> hang on I lost a band and then loop in it's kind of hard to do with a camera in between you and the loom so, alright, and then I'm going to loop like this, and we're going to loop all the way up to the top of the loom. Or lose all your bands. How do I do that? I don't know. I never mess up like that when I'm making my, like, big giant dragons. Alright, we're going to tie off the end with a purple band, or a blue band, whatever color is, because we're done with our dragon now. So we're going to pull them off, starting at the bottom. Come on. Get off the loom. He's going to look all messed up when you first pull him off, so don't worry. We don't need the loom anymore. Who's gonna look like that? It looks ridiculous. <laughs> so, oh, fix the camera. <coughs> We're gonna untie all of the slipknot bands, so the ones around his wing. So the four bands that are attaching to his wings. And then the one band on his neck, if you still have that band on. So, I'm gonna find that neck band and take it off. Alright. Now. Just pull his wings, adjust his wings so his wings are pointing upwards so they're look a lot normal, look more normal. Alright, now for the neck, you're going to go through this set of bands like that with your hook. And then you're just going to tug towards his tummy so it, it kind of props his neck up more. And then for his legs. So his two front legs are going to be facing correct. So then his back legs are going to be sprawled out like that. We're going to go through... So, this set of band right, right here, this set of bands, these top two bands, and we're going to pull the leg through those. So we're going to spread them out and push the leg through, and it pops his leg up, like that. So we're going to spread out these two bands, pop his leg up, like that. He's adorable. And his leg got put on like that. So we are completely finished with them now, and go enjoy your little baby dragon. He has a new friend. Yay. Friends. 
We hope to see you on our next video. Please like, subscribe, and comment more Rainbow Loom ideas. Hope to see you on our next video.